Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, I will tell you how to convert a standard form of POS expression that is product of some expression which is there in the non-canonical form to a canonical form. First, let us understand what is POS means product of some expression. Suppose if you have an expression like this a plus b into c plus d, we call this expression as product of two sum terms. You can see here a plus b is a sum term, c plus d is also a sum term. We are taking a product of these. Similarly, we may have one more term also like a plus d something like this. Now it will be having three sum terms. We are taking a product of those. Now let us come to the non-canonical and canonical form in this POS. Suppose if I take one more example function of a comma b comma c it will be having an expression like a plus b into a plus c now this is also a product of some expression this is one term and this is another sum term we are taking a product of these two but this is a non-canonical form this is in non-canonical form why because if you need to define this as a canonical expression this function will be having three variables here a b c each sum term should have a b as well as c but here you can see c is missing c is not there here also you can see b is missing so each and every term should have all the variables in that then only the expression will be called as canonical so we need to convert this canonic non-canonical expression into canonical form now so how to convert this here c is missing so we have a plus b let me write a plus b as it is we need to write the missing term with this a plus b as plus c into c bar why i am adding c into c bar here is that missing term is c if i take c into c bar it is 0 as we know a into a bar is 0 so this will not make any difference to the expression a plus b so i am taking c into c bar with this into in the second term we will be having b missing so a plus c as it is i am going to write b into b bar so this is what i got uh, once i find out the missing term and adding c into c bar and b into b bar. Now we need to apply the rule here. So let me take this a plus b, let me just call this a plus b as x and I am writing this term c into c bar as it is. Similarly, I am writing this a plus c as y and I am writing b plus b bar as it is. Here the distribution law says if the expression is like this something like a plus b into b bar if you have an expression like this we can expand this as a plus b into a plus b bar so if we apply this rule here in this expression we have x plus c into x plus c bar similarly here y plus b into y plus b bar so this is how we can distribute this now what is x here it is a plus b i just wrote a plus b as x so let me write it as a plus b plus c and here also x is a plus b a plus b plus c bar now what is y here a plus c a plus c plus b and here again y is a plus c a plus c plus b bar now in this expression if you have any multiple terms with the same variables you can see here a plus b plus c is there here also a plus b plus c is there here we know that a into a is a itself b into b is b itself so if you have a plus b into a plus b twice so we will be getting a plus b again so here applying this rule 
here a plus b plus c is repeated so i'm going to write that in one term like this and a plus b plus c bar as it is and a plus c plus b bar as it is so this is now the expression is converted to canonical form this is the canonical form of the given expression now if you want to decode this to the max term expressions we can call this some terms as max terms this is one max term this is also a max term this is also a max term how to code it so wherever a b c like this true terms are there i am going to write it as 0 0 0 similarly here a plus b plus c bar is there i am taking it as 0 0 c bar so complement will be taken as 1 similarly a c b bar is there here for a 0 c 0 if it is complement i am taking it as 1 so 0 0 0 is value 0 i am calling it as max term 0 this is max term 1 this is here there might be a chance of doing a mistake like this so we need to rearrange this expression as a b bar c so this expression becomes a plus b bar plus c why because the expression should be in the order a and then b then c so if we rearrange this expression it becomes a plus b bar plus c now for this the code is 0 1 0 not this so this is 2 this is max term capital m 2 so now we can represent this pos canonical form as with pi and within the bracket i am going to write it as 0 comma 1 comma 2 this is how we can represent this with the max terms for a function given function f of abc now let me take one more example now let the function f of a comma b comma c will be having expression a plus b plus c bar and one more term is a bar plus c now this is the given expression here also you can see a b c are the three variables in first term we will be having all the three variables in the second term b is missing so i am going to add that a plus b plus c bar as it is in the second term b is missing so i am going to write it as a bar plus c plus b into b bar now this expression becomes a plus b plus c bar is as it is and here i am directly writing a bar plus c plus b and i can write it as a bar plus c plus b bar now you can see if any repeated expression is there we can eliminate that otherwise this is what the canonical expression for the given expression so if i am going to code this to the max term so a b c bar is there i am writing it as a plus b plus c bar here i need to rearrange this becomes a bar plus b plus c this is a bar plus b bar plus c so now this is 0 0 1 this is max term 1 m1 and this is 1 0 0 1 0 0 is 4 this is m4 here a bar is there 1 b bar 1 c 0 here 4 plus 2 6 this is m6 so i can represent this as pi within the brackets 1 comma 4 comma 6 for the given function with a b c variables this is how we can write the max terms and this is what the canonical form of this expression thank you